<clears throat> Fellas, what's going on? All right. My brother resides up in Orlando, Florida. I reside down here in Miami, Florida. Our inventory are not intertwined, for lack of a better term. However, he uh, reviewed a Macallan 12, Sherry Oak, and an Avalor 12, uh, combination bourbon and Sherry cask. Now, I, following his steps, I was going to, you know, compare the Mac 18 with the Avalor 18. But then, I, I, I think it's unfair, considering they're both from Space Side, the Highlands. Um, but there, there's not enough Sherry influence here to compete with this. Uh, so what I've done is that instead, I'm going to do with the Yamasaki. Because the Yamasaki has 80% uh, first fill Sherry Oloroso, 10% American bourbon, and 10% some Japanese wood. I can't remember the name. So here in McAllen, the 18-year-old, which if you guys follow us, know that this is my kin of the hill. This, this, this guy is what I like. Now, before this particular batch, or I should say this particular um, distilled bottle, which it was in 1996, McAllen used to use a combination of first fill, Oloroso, 60% of first fill, and then 40% of second fill, which is ex, uh, ex uh, sherry cask. Now, this is 80% first fill, 10 American oak, and the other 10 is like Japanese oak. So I think this is more of a fair um, um, competition, if you will, for lack of a better term. Now, the reason why I mentioned the 1996 distilled uh, date here on this particular bottle is because when I was talking about 60 first fill and 40 uh, ex, uh, sherry oak, it was this guy. See, there's a difference in color, and I don't know what the hell McCallum is doing now. Uh, and I've had this bottle for quite a while, and this was the still back in, I think it was 94. Yeah, 94. So, I w when I was referring to 60% first fill and 40% X, uh, which is uh, second fill, it was this particular bottle. Now, this, there's a lot lighter. I don't know what the hell they're doing here. But, as you can see, I've had, you know, about a third of the bottle, and it tastes similar, but not the same. Uh, and the color is a lot lighter. Now, this is a 12 jumbo, a 12 year old that I have, and it's darker than this 18. So, what is McCallum doing? I don't know. Now, I can honestly tell you that if I'm in a market looking for another Mac 18, because I'm, I'm just simply keeping this for whatever, uh, just to have it at the bar. But if I'm, if once I run out of this and I'm looking for a Mac 18, which is my favorite dram, and I encounter this color again, I will not spend the money. Guaranteed. So, let's do this. Mm. Alright. I'm waiting for the World Series. Stars on Tuesday. <coughs> I'm going to hit this shit hard. Now, I haven't opened this Yamasaki in probably over a year. Mmm. You know it's crazy. Um, I smell peat in there, and I think there's peat in it. Um, so, mm, see that Macallan 18? This Macallan 18 smells like the Macallan Sienna. It smells um, warm, um, like warm sugar, maybe. I don't know. It's not the same, fellas. Not the same. Anyhow. Mm. This is a Mac 18. Wow. I don't even have to give you a nose on this one. You guys know what it smells like. Now, the Yamasaki is very similar, though, on the nose. And I'm not detecting any peat now, so I'm going to start with the Yamasaki 18. All right? Uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same nose. Sweet. Macallan, really sweet. Really sweet too, but it's like a cardboard smell here, and it's good. It smells warm. It smells very, very sherry here. I don't detect any peat, but 
I've had in the past Detective Pete in the Yamasaki 18. Alright, so I'm going to start with the Yamasaki, right? Mm-hmm. Definitely, Pete. Wow. This got better with time. Despite there's no extra maturation here. That's just it. I left the cask. Nothing further here. But it tastes so much better now. Lots of sherry. Wow. Lots of sherry. Man, I was just watching my video two plus years ago when I did this review. And you have sherry and the peat was like more pronounced. Now it's like almost non-existent. Wow, really good. I'm going to go for another one. Mm. Mm. And just to let you guys know, this thing won, I think it was silver medal in the San Francisco uh, International Spirit Challenge, I think it's called, back in 2010. They won a gold medal, a double gold. 96 points uh, on the scale, whatever scale they use. Really good stuff. Wow. Leather. I don't know if you guys have tasted leather before, but I got kids in my car when they spill shit around. Sometimes I go like that and go back again, double dipping, and it tastes just like that. Really good. Floral. Mm -hmm. And there's fruits there, but I really can't pick them up. Anyhow, Mac 18. See, even the color is lighter. Where's the camera? In here? That's the color in the Macallan. No. Look at the color in this thing. <laughs> it's like mortal oil transmission fluid. I don't know what the fuck my cow's doing, but they fucking it up for me because I'm not spending another buck fifty two hundred dollars on another bottle unless he has that color. Oh my god, this is just like Sienna. My cow and Sienna. That's what I smell here. And you know the color, to be honest with you? It's pretty much alike. In fact, I probably didn't pick it up. It's right there. Fuck it. I'm not going to pull that. Mm. Right. My Callan Spice here. Really smooth. So was the Yamasaki though. I can't pick up the alcohol there. But they're both really, really smooth. McAllen, however, is a little sweeter. I think there's more wood here on the Yamasaki though. And I, my understanding is that they filter this. Not chill filter, but they filter through bamboo. Um, let me go with McAllen again. To be fair, turn two. Wow. Mmm. Almonds right there. Cashews. You know, I was trying to figure out the other day what kind of chocolate this reminds me of because sometimes it turns into dark chocolate, sometimes it turns into milk chocolate, but I know exactly what it tastes like right now. To me, it tastes just like Nutella. If you guys have had Nutella, that's the type of chocolate I'm picking up here. I'll tell you this. I'm really pleased with both. Now, this, in my opinion, lesser quality than this. Okay? I like this better. This is this is kin of my hill right here. Now, this is like another version. Uh, whatever they put in here, I don't understand it. The only thing I can tell you is that it's really similar to this 18, like on a lighter version. Now it's like 
What's the little toffee candies? That's what I got now. Toward the end. Anyhow. They're both really good. When I bought this two plus years ago, it was like 120 bucks, something like that. I have never paid less than a buck fifty for a Mac 18 uh, through the years that I've been drinking scotch. Um, now it's up to like $200 in some places. Um, and this is going to come to a surprise to you guys, but the enjoyment, the rating for both right now, they're equally tied. Now, because of the money, and this, however, I can still find, I saw it the other day for like 109 or 99 something like that. If, since I've enjoyed it so much, and I really like them both, if I have to choose one or the other, I think I will go with this right now. Because it's like $50 less, and I'm enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying this. Now, this has this particular taste and platform that I am infatuated with, and I really like it, really enjoy it a lot. Um, but it's not up to par with this. It's, they put something different here. Now, had the competition was or had been between the, these two, I, I think I would have gone with this two. But um, since that's not the case, I, I'm really enjoying the both of them. Um, I think that's pretty much what I got. I wanted to do this comparison too. I've had this Avalor 18 for a long, long time. In fact, I had a friend over not too long ago, and uh, we were comparing, and that Avalor 18 is really good. However, it's hard to find, and when you do find it, it I think I saw for like $97.99 a total wine down here in Miami. Um, but um, I this is this is <laughs> this is no longer invincible. Um, now, uh, it, in my scale, this has you know put a damper on that on this my count eighteen. This new version that they've got, which is not up to par with this version, which is the old version, which I'm still keeping though. So, look at this thing. I love carrying this. It's like carrying a baby. It's brand new. Anyhow, um, all right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and uh, I'll probably do some other stupid shit. I'm bored out of my mind today, and um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and put up a couple of extra videos. So, um, just to let you guys know, um, I have another 18 year old there that I'll probably be pulling out and, and comparing with, with this other Macallan. Well, you go fellas.